Alright. This is what we call a gasifier. I've already made this video once and I screwed it up. So I'm going to do it again. This is my cooler. Let's start over here. I'm sorry. This is my burner. I made it to where that's roughly 10 inches. See those little holes? There's 16 of them. Those. Well, let's see here. They're going to be inside, just like so, at an angle. I'm going to come up inside this. This is where my intake is going to be, a two inch. I'm thinking about doing two of them, I don't know. This is just going to be for a flange to go with that for my outer pipe coming down like here, which is right there. Anyway, that's where my the tubes coming down, 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 all the way around. That'll give me two options. And it's because I want to close this off, do a downdraft, or I can suck air through the side here and go down those little pipes all the way down, all the way around, and supply air to the burner. Um, yeah, see, auger. Auger would go boop right there, or a hopper. I don't know yet. That's later on. I did a cyclone. I did a big one because I feel like this is going to produce quite a bit. Put a, This is just an idea of my little brain thinking. Copper wrap it around and cycle water through there. And. Cyclone. Uh, well, I wasn't really set up to do a video, but I just wanted to get kind of. I've been working my butt off on this. There's my grate. Still got to invent something on that to where it spins. And there's the bottom where the grate's going to be right there on that. And I'm going to spin it, and then the ash will fall out the side. Sorry, that is going to go to the bottom of that thing. Now, I also, well, that, you know, I'm going to be able to take this off if it needs to be cleaned. I don't know. You know, I didn't ask all those questions. This is a trial and error thing. So, anyway, I made this one here. It worked. This was just a mock up to see if this really works, and it does. Imagine that. This thing here, I'm going to put a so I can get inside, have a cover to where I can clean it if I have to again, I don't know. Anyway, water is gonna go inside this 55 gallon drum and I've got these going inside this all the way up. So that pipe is inside here. That way I can cycle water through there and cool from the inside and outside and then put a fan out here which they're over there, you see them there, and then there's another one right there. Anyway, um, here we go. Just a real quickie. You got your burner, it burns, and it comes out of there. Go through the cyclone. It's gonna start cooling off at that point. And it's gonna go in here, go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And as it goes up and down, up and down, it cools off and then you got your tar, moisture, impurities coming out. So I've got this with different zones to where I can drain that as it's cooling. Uh, I believe 95 degrees is the magic number, but I think it needs to be less than that. But that's just a personal opinion. Had this got this off of Gek. I gotta give Gek the credit on this, not me. I did call him to make sure, because I felt kind of guilty to download their DXF files, and I said it was no big deal, so it's like, okay. And of course, I own a CNC, and 
drew these, I mean, put these in my software and cut them out. Cut that one out, cut that one out, cut all these flanges and stuff. And anyway, so let's get back to this. I'm sorry, I got off the subject a little bit. So now the gas comes out. I'm going to go through three filters and maybe more coolers if I have to. But I don't know if I went too far with a cooling system. But to me, just, you know, me thinking, well, there's that's sometimes dangerous. Uh, it needs to cool. Cool, 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 cool is a key word. Uh, anyway, so I have to add more coolers. I will. I want to get it down under 90 degrees if all possible. We'll see. Uh, so after the cooling, you go through a filter. I just made me a simple filter with which I'm gonna change that media, but later on I'll work on the media. I know it's just you know pine straw, whatever. I'm thinking about putting a smaller one, the third filter with cotton is what I was thinking. Somebody was telling, well, read somewhere that somebody used cotton, which I thought was a good idea. Why not? Anyway. Go through three filters, cotton filter, and then it should go and straighten your motor. Well, you got to have the fan set up and all that, but I just wanted to show that I'm not lazying around. I got a big mess going. Got me a new toy. I grew up with one of these in Peru. My father um, ran this for, gosh. 35 somewhere years somewhere in there anyway uh the only reason well anyway he never had to really overhaul it very very dependable motor it's a lister 16.2 i'm extremely proud to have that very lucky to have it in fact um uh, I'm not going to run this with the gasifier. I've got a huge generator outside I'm going to try to run this with. With all the math and information that I got off the internet, I feel like it should work. There's a frame for that. I was going to put another generator on this to run my home with, but uh, a couple of changes. Anyway, I love that thing lot of, uh, I don't know, sentimental value going on right there for me. I grew up, I mean, I was turning this thing on at eight years old, you know. Well, didn't have no warning signs on it, no watch your fingers, don't put your finger here. Common sense stuff, you know, if it's spinning, don't put your finger on it. Um, That's it for now, man. I got to. Modify a little bit. I gotta raise that, but that's where I'm at. Lots of cutting, grinding, you know, self-effort, huh? America, self-effort. Okay, pay attention. Anyway, yeah, still got everything growing over there. Got everything. Oh, a tree fell on my truck. We had a little storm. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, that's it for now.